Hello, I'm making this video for anybody that needs to know how to um, shrink wrap their windows for winter time. This I bought was called Duck Window Kit and it says crystal clear insulating shrink film 62 inches high by 420 inches wide in total and there's 10 indoor insulated uh, 3 foot by 4 5 foot window interior well, you can read it. Anyways, I first thing you have to do is clean your windows. So I went ahead and cleaned the window. And um, as you can see, it's dark here and um, cold right now because it's winter time, of so course. 10 degrees outside. Yeah. And so we Bound. went ahead and cleaned the window really well. And then, um, give me a tape. The next thing you have to do is you got to put this tape on your woodwork so what we did was we used the guideline of duct tape now you don't have to use duct tape you can use a pencil or something whatever you don't or you can even use a piece of scotch tape anything if you don't want to ruin your woodwork but this woodwork's pretty old it's a guide so you won't wind up zigzagging so to give your eye you can do this by eye because it doesn't have to be a perfect job so this will give you an idea from one to the next that you stay in reasonably straight line now, I didn't do it at the top, but he came up with a good idea. Let's do it around the sides so that everybody can see and it can look more professional. And the so length we did is more it of here. a challenge than the width to get it straight. <laughs> see the little white marks? So then when he runs this tape, it'll go this way. I forgot to do one on the left side, but it doesn't matter. I, I have enough vision there. Okay. So, okay. Let me pause this and we'll be right back. Okay, so here's your next step. Now, you're going to use the guide and be careful. It is very sticky and um, it's double stick tape. So the side he's putting down is sticky and then once he gets this down, then you pull the top off, but we'll show that. It's my guide, something to shoot for, see? I have some idea where I'm going. And as you go, you press. See, you press down. This so, is really easy to so do, saves me but I didn't see very many videos here on YouTube about oh no. it. Saves me the time. And if I miss by a little, it's no big deal like that. It's still going to really shrink and have enough room to shrink and still, you know, cover our windows and insulate it and save some heat. <laughs> so there, to the bottom. Okay, so your next step is to do this. Just measure from the tape edge to your tape edge, whatever that is. Ours is like about 37. You know, it's like, you know, try to aim for the middle. So maybe it's not 37 exactly. Anyhow, it's about right there. And then you add a couple inches, two inches more. That's where you want your plastic when you cut your plastic. You know, you want two inches from whatever your width from tape to tape is. Okay, so now your next step is to do from the top of your window's tape edge down to the bottom. And this will be your measurement. If you can see that, it's about 61. So we're going to give it two inches. So it'll be 64. About 60, 63. 63. So that's the the length from top to bottom is about 63 inches in length. That's what we're going to cut the plastic at. So it'll be 39 by 63. Okay, so the next step is to get your plastic out of your kit. And then you're going to lay it down on the floor somewhere long. We have a kitchen floor that's pretty long. So we're going to lay it down on the floor and then we're going to measure it up. Sweep it clean first. Okay, so now we're... We just laid the plastic down on the kitchen floor. Now he's holding the one end <laughs> if I don't let go of it. Now you gotta measure 63 because that's what we said the length was. So we come down here and we got 63. Now we're gonna cut here for the length. Okay, now for the next length, you wanna do your width that you measured up there. Now our width was 39 inches, so we're gonna cut it here. At 39. And use your eye, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, yes, we're gonna go ahead and 
show you how he cuts it. It's pretty um, easy. It's like cutting saran wrap. You kind of go by eye till you get to the 39. Now remember, you don't have to be perfect. So if you go a little over or even a little under, they like you to do two inches, but if you don't quite get the two inch mark, but he made Half it. it but it'll do he did it. Job done. <laughs> it'll okay. Do the same on the other side. We come up with a cool idea. So if you're at one end and you're trying to get to the other end, you just kind of, if you lay your box down, you can kind of um, use that as a guide to get it to come up to, the, you know, like your guide, like he's doing right there. Okay, so your next step is to start taking your tape off. Now, as you can see, I took the tape off up the top, and I went ahead and stuck that on. And then what you'll do is you'll peel the back of the blue tape, you know, off and you go all the way down running. <clears throat> you're going to pull as you, uh, you're going to pull the plastic as you do the tape. Okay. So you don't worry about these little curls. If you get curls in your thing, because what we do is you, one person holds that side while they're coming down. Then the other person is sort of taking the plastic here and sort of giving it a tug this way but you'll see when we hair dry it it'll shrink real nice it does an amazing job so now we're going to do this side here on camera so we, you can see how we do it <clears throat> so what he does is he'll get up there and take that backing off and just be careful that you don't um Take the sticky part off. You just want to take the. Not all at once. Let me show. Maybe oh. half the time. Let me pause this a second. Okay, so <clears throat> we had a little tiny problem. When it's so cold out that the wood <clears throat> up here is very cold. So if it gets this cold, uh, you got to heat the wood with a hair dryer, blow torch, you know, whatever you want to heat it with. <laughs> but heat it up and then make sure now he's going to do it. He's going to take it and you pull. You take the tape off first. Yeah. And then you stretch it. You'll see. <clears throat> Not all at once. He's yeah, don't do it all at once. And you're going to stretch it and you're going to press it at the same time. You're going to stretch it and press it. These things will iron out with the hair dryer. Stretch and there press. I'm only kidding about the blowtorch, but it's been, it's pretty funny. Hair dryer. Hair dryer. <laughs> Okay. We didn't. We actually forgot to do that, and we mm -hmm. had to redo our tape. Yeah, we but, haven't um, done one in a while. But there. But hey, it's all a learning process, right? We're still not pros, but we're showing you what we do now. <laughs> Stretch and press. And the hair dryer does the rest. They say to give it two inches. Things approximate. And you just got to be careful too because you don't want to uh, put a hole in it because if you put a hole in it, well, right. then you're defeating your purpose. Including after it's up. <laughs> don't leave okay. it up by accident. Some tack in it. Let me pause this again. Okay, so now the fun part comes. Now, once it's all up, you're just going to run a hair dryer along the tape edges and then around the middle. And this should shrink your uh, plastic. You see how it wrinkles? But it should stretch out. It's a whole lot better than it did before by the time it's done. If it's really good, you won't even know it's there. You can see the window. Okay, so. You want to get as close to the plastic as you can with the heat. And this should shrink right up for you. See how close I'm getting? You see down here, you got the lines, but up here, it's solid. Now watch. Don't be afraid. You're not going to burn it.
make it much better. For a while it looked so creased, but that's because I wasn't getting close to it. You get really close to it. It's a huge difference. You do it perfect. You won't even know it's there. You just think you're looking out the window. You much better at it? Yeah. If it's it cold, you've got to really heat that window sill up. Yeah, I remember that. If you don't heat the window sill, then it won't uh, adhere. The tape won't adhere. Pretty good job. Okay. Move a little bit more maybe over there. All right. And it's good to have someone work with you because if you can't, absolutely, if you can't hold something, they're there to help, and you know, vice versa. You ultimately can do it by yourself, but it's easier and it's more fun to have somebody to work with you. It's now, okay to this, make a few mistakes, but the third time of, you'll learn. Yeah, this little bit of edging, you see how it's loose here? That'll get cut off. You could leave it, but if you want it to look better, you just cut that off with a, a utility knife. Okay. And make sure your plug don't fall out of the wall. I'm going to pause. Okay. Okay, so here's your last step, pretty much. As you go to the edge where your tape is, and you see this little overhang, you just grab a little... Utility knife, you could pick these up for a dollar, sometimes two. Any store will do. And you just gently cut. Now you want to pull and cut at the same time. Don't cut your wood. You don't yeah, don't cut your wood and don't cut this. If you cut this, then you gotta start all over again. You don't want to do that. But you just gently follow it down. Mm -hmm. It, some you don't even have to cut if it pulls fine. It's easier if it pulls off But you get it started, you know And that's pretty much all you do Just give it a little This is just so you don't have a lot of extra hang We'll see if it looks All right There you go. Well, that's what you end up with. You can do that on all edges and good to go. Okay. I well, hope you enjoyed the video. And we're going to go ahead and stop it right there. And good luck with your winterization. Yep. So everybody, thanks for watching. Stay safe. And subscribe and hit the like button. The like bell. And the bell. Subscribe, like, and hit the bell if and you want to see more. And share the video. Yep. Take Thank care. Thank you. Bye.